Cody, a 2-2 draw today. What's your thoughts on the performance? Um, I think the first half we weren't good enough. Uh, we know the standard that we set, especially after the big win on the weekend against Notts County. So that, that wasn't good enough on, on, on our behalf. And I think we've got to apologise to the fans for that. We've, we've set a standard. Um, we've underachieved for the majority of the season. So, so we, at the moment, still trying to make up for lost ground. We're still trying to put in the maximum performances into this, into this last few games. So the first half wasn't good enough, but the, the character we showed in the second half it was second to none. You mentioned that there, but of course we did secure our place in the National League for the next three games and obviously next season as well. Given that we now got the opportunity to experiment and see you know, younger players come in and see that, you know, how important is that as we look ahead to next season? Yeah, it's massive. I think there's a lot of young boys which have stepped up this year. I mean, you've got Tommy Willard, Alfie Saunders, Callum Coulter, Ryan Hall, who I thought was really good today. All, all the youngsters, they, they've come through, they've done really well, they've, they've kind of made the position their own. And, and looking forward, that's what this club is about. It's about breeding young players coming through and, and integrating them into the first team. The players like yourself, of course, obviously you've been here a while now, m m nurturing them and making sure they're OK and you know, leading into it as well. How important is that? It's massive. I mean, I've played over 100 games for this club. So for someone like me or, or Kintz or Kev, who's very experienced at this level, we've got to try to kind of share our brains, if you like, um, share our knowledge and, and share our experience with the young boys. Of course, we needed them out there today. You know, I'd argue with the captaincy as well. You were one of the leaders out there. You know, it took a lot of courage, didn't it, to come back 2-1 down at half-time to get back and get that goal that we deserve in the second half? 100%. This is, this is not an easy place to go for anyone. I mean, obviously, first half, we, we defended the hill, which I don't know if the fans have seen it or anyone's seen it, but it is a big hill today. But that's not an excuse. I mean, it's the same for both teams. But like you said, we showed great character, you know, and we, and we kept plucking away, and I think we got the goal that we deserved. Obviously, watching the game from afar, you know, in the first half, I think we're quite unlucky, given that you know it's a set-piece goal and a corner goal. As a defender, you're going to be disappointed to concede those sort of goals. But we did play well attacking-wise throughout the game. Yeah, we, we're always going to be attacking for it. We've got people like Sinclair, Mikel, who's on fire at the moment, Tommy Willard, who's, who's again in good form. So we're going to have that attack, attacking threat. Like, like you said, we're, we're disappointed to not only concede from a corner, but a free kick. It's silly. I mean, so we've got to learn from that. Dust ourselves down and go again. What's the note from the corner as well? Because you know, watching it, it looked like it was a bit of you know uncertainty as who's going to mark Akira and he's popped in and equalised that goal. Um, I, f I mean, obviously, normally we leave a striker on the keeper and, and, and the keeper comes through. Obviously, that's what we normally do with, with Ethan or Mitch if they play. Um, with Ryan today, we, we probably didn't notice and, and, and pay attention to the fact that it may have been a, a bit harder for him because he's, he's a lot younger, kind of not as big as, as Ethan, if you like. So we, we rectified it after that. But like you said, we, we can see that it, it took us too long to realise that. A goal for Sinclair as well in the first off and also a goal for Harry Pee and his return to the club. It's great for both of them to get off the mark. Well, got them up, but get the goals today. Yeah, definitely. I'm delighted for Harrison. He's, he's had a rough, a rough couple of weeks. Um, he's had injuries. It's been a bit of a stop-start season for him, along with myself and a few others. And, and Sinclair, is he's a monster. He's only 18. He's a monster of a man. Um, and he's got a bright future ahead of him. Just not on Harry P as well. What's it been like since his return? Obviously, he's come back. You know, maybe been a bit unlucky with the goals. He's not scored yet, so to get one today, it's a great moment for him. Yeah, delighted for him. Like I said, um, he's he's such a good guy to have around around the dressing room and the chains around, and 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 yeah, he keeps the spirits high. Whether he's in the team, injured or whatever, he's he's still brilliant to have around. Of course, we didn't just settle for the draw. We did try and nick it late on a late header for Mo as well. Almost saw us take away all three points today. Yeah, almost, almost. So so we go again. We dust ourselves down and look for a big push on Saturday. Exactly that. And my last question, Halifax away, a long away trip, but an important one nonetheless. Massive, massive. The, the last two, three, we've got two, three games, two, two games, whatever it is, we'll be willing to, to, to give our all, you know, put our bodies on the line and, and get as many points as possible. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.